Okay, I'm outside here now. I'm just placing the, the metal box over the end of my sawhorse so that the wood is flush on the back side. And I don't have a center punch. What I want to do here is punch at the crosshairs. It's one of the reasons I uh, drew these on the computer. So I just have a nail here. And I'm just going to place the nail in the center and give it a wrap. And that'll be the guide for the drill. So I'm going to go through and do that on all the holes. Sides it on, turn it over, and I have all of these to do. I placed a, uh, a small drill, about an eighth of an inch, a little bit larger in the drill here. I'm going to use that to drill through where I've used a center punch. And this will help guide in the, uh, the larger drills. So I've got a lot of little holes here to drill. Here we go. All the pilot holes are drilled. Okay, the hole for the, um, the pot in the quarter inch jacks is 3 eighths of an inch. And that's a little bit large for that little pilot hole. So I have my quarter inch drill and I'm going to drill a hole through here first. Now you want to make sure you really hang on to the metal because it may kick up on you. For the 3 eighths, I'm going to use this step drill as uh, further you push it down, the larger the hole is. And the 3 eighths is uh, the fourth one up from the bottom. And I'm going to position it just off the edge of the wood here and use that. And one more. Okay, I have all the 3 8 inch holes drilled. Now I'm just going to finish this up and drill out the remaining of the quarter inch holes. And remember, hang on. Okay, I have some, uh, some burrs in here I need to clean up. And I have a deburring tool with a cutting edge on one side. So basically, you just hold that on the, put it in the hole there. You just turn it by hand and just cut off the burrs. Let's take off the paper. And see what it really looks like. That's the uh, the front where the knobs are going to go. Take the back off. So I have all my pots here and this thing I'm going to do is take off the hardware and on the end of each pot is a little tab. I'm just going to take my needle nose and grab onto that and just twist it and it breaks right off. I take a, uh, one of the flat washers and put it over the shaft run the pot through the the box Put another washer on and the nut over the end, nut driver on there, and tighten it down. Do that three more times. So I have all the pots installed. And next thing to do is mount all the quarter inch jacks in the back. The jack, just a finish washer, and a nut. And I happen to have nut drivers to fit all these. So I just crank that on there. Good and tight. I've got all of those installed. Next thing is to mount three of these RCA funnel jacks and just go into the hole. And there's a solder lug and a nut that goes on to the back side. Slide those over and put the nut on, tighten it down. And then I have a nut driver. Just go down over it and just snug it up with that. Okay, I have all the RCAs installed. Next thing is the eighth inch jacks. And uh, so you just run that through. You just take a pair of needle nose and just very carefully tighten those up. Well, there we go. I have everything mounted now. Uh, the four pots in the front, the, all the connectors on the back. I'll just have to bend up these solder tabs so I can get to them. All the quarter inch connectors installed. Um, all I have to do now is uh, get out a bunch of hookup wire and solder this together. So we'll do that in the next video. Thank you very much for watching K7AGE Randy 73.